up everybody, welcome to NFL Pink. I'm your host, Bernie V. And this week I am gonna talk about two rules that kind of are uh, highly connected. It is a false start and encroachment. A false start is called on the offense and encroachment is called on the defense. So what a false start is for the offense is when a player, this is the team that has the ball, makes movement before the center snaps the ball and everybody is set. Once everybody is set, there's no more movement allowed until you hear that quarterback go hike. You know, you hear him say 53, 52. They throw out all these weird codes so the other player doesn't know, the other team doesn't know their uh, play call and then they say hi. At that point, everybody moves. But before that point, the offense cannot move. Now, I did two today because on the other side of the ball, the defense, once it's set, cannot move either. If they come across the line of scrimmage, which is where the ball is set, it's like that invisible line that separates defense from offense. Once that team cross comes across, the defense comes across, that's considered encroachment. Um, so, uh, false start looks like this. You'll see the referee uh, false fist. And if you watch uh, basketball, it's the same call as traveling. But again, that's a false start. Um, and false start, five yard penalty. The other way, encroachment is also a five yard penalty. Um, but encroachment looks like this. You'll see the referee with his hands on his hips, and that's considered encroachment. So, what stories are going on in the NFL? As you know, the biggest story that's going on right now is this Richie Incognito Jonathan Martin story. When the story first broke, I thought there was another element to it. Um, I thought perhaps they were teasing him in the locker room because he was gay, talking about Jonathan Martin. That was my assumption, just because, you know, the hazing part we've always heard about in the NFL. It's just been a rite of passage. The younger players carrying the pads and getting breakfast or, you know, doing other um, chores. However, when I heard these voicemails and the fact that Richie Uncognito felt the need to call Jonathan Martin out of his name with a racial slur, at that point it's gone beyond hazing. That is not a part of what goes on in the locker room. Um, you have to know that it goes beyond the hazing or the rookie indoctrinating because this is something we had never heard of before. We never heard of a player needing to leave the team for therapy due to the way he was treated in the locker room. I have some very strong opinions about it, but I think the story is being beat to death. We have heard about this story over and over again. So I will reserve a show for when the verdict is, or the information comes out, the full information, because we, Richie Incognito had an interview. Verdict is, or the information to Tim, Tom Wells of the NFL for the investigation piece. So far, we don't really know anything. We have what he said and what he said, but we don't know the truth. So, I would just say this, once I saw the, the racial slur that he mentioned, I was offended. I don't think that's something that friends do. Um, I know that a lot of African Americans use the N word. Um, when speaking to a friend and thinking that it's cool, you hear it in rap music. I don't, personally, I don't ever think the N word is appropriate to use. It never is. It comes from a place of pain and suffering and is derogatory. So I don't take a derogatory word and want to make it a positive spin on it. I don't believe that at all. But like I said, I will reserve my um, comments and the full blast of Bernie B in an upcoming video. But my game of the week is Kansas City Chiefs at Denver Broncos. I am super excited to see that game. I cannot wait. Um, as you all know, even though I am a Giants fan, 
I love Peyton Manning. I'm just a huge Peyton Manning fan. I really want to see him get another Super Bowl win. And they need to beat Kansas City this Sunday. Sunday Night Football in America this is the game of the week. Ladies, this is a shout out to you. If you have something you want to know about in terms of football, please feel free to hit me up on Twitter at BernieB73. Or you can post a question on NFL Pink. Um, as the season goes along, I think I'm going to do a contest for the ladies, something, uh, some really cute giveaway items, something that we can do to keep it fun. Um, also, to those ladies out there that like football and want to talk football, professional football, not college. I know there's a few ladies out there that love the college, but if you're up on the NFL and you like talking about professional football, hit me up. I would love to get a little uh, Google Hangout going on so that we can uh, talk about football and put it out there for the masses. That's what I really would like to do with the show, to take it further. Um, I'm all about ladies in football. And I feel like, besides being a cheerleader, this is like the closest we can get to the NFL. So, I'm more than uh, willing to start that up as well. So, until next week, have a good one. I'm Vernie B. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And remember, it's at VernieB73 on Twitter. Love to get some dialogue going. All right. Peace.